Hi, welcome. It's Monday and we're back for our regular cooking lessons live from Italy. I hope you're well and lovely to be with you here today. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, if this is the first time you've tuned in, um, I'm Lauren from Flavours and we are joined live from Italy with Livia, who's in her kitchen and ready to start cooking real Italian food for us. How are you, Livia? Hello, very well. I got the microphone today, so... Perfect, oh, that's great. So, um, yeah, How are you? So, yeah, I'm good actually. I'm good, really well. I think like everybody else, we ate and we drank too much and uh, over Christmas. So you've got some um, solutions for us today. Yes, it's um, the idea is to make our liver feel better. Great. <laughs> and that way we to use some vegetables, and there are a lot of different vegetables which are good for the liver, actually. So. Yeah, so anybody, anybody who's ever been with Livia on one of our cooking holidays, the idea that Livia is going to teach us something healthy, usually Livia is the one who's always pouring more Prosecco in our glasses. So um, this is a real departure for you, Livia, today to, to try and keep us healthy. It's, it's that time That's of year. Right. Yeah, today okay. I try to make your liver feel better. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. So we are talking all about artichokes today, is that right? Yeah, I got a lot of different kinds of artichokes here mm -hmm. for you to show you Perfect. how to show Okay. Great. And uh, they are starting to be in season now. They are a winter crop usually. They are originally from the south of the world, let's say. So they got different names. They are called in different ways, also in, in dialect and some parts of Italy, call it in a similar way to the way you call it in UK. So they are called artichocchi, so in dialect. For example, I think that you can hear that when you go to Tuscany, and it reminds a lot of artichokes, which is also the way they call it in, in France. Yeah. So I think, uh, yeah, I, think, I think for us, artichokes is always something quite exotic. It's not something that maybe people cook with, you know, very often. So it'd be really yeah. interesting today just to see what to do. And um, if anyone's watching um, on Facebook, uh, Kieran's manning our Facebook today. So um, any messages, any comments, please just send them to Kieran, keep him busy. I think we have uh, Jane saying hello already. So hi, Jane, hope you're well. Hope you're, I think oh, Jane, was, Jane was busy yeah. doing our- um, Yeah, also because Jane uh, is a um, vegetarian. So I think she would be very happy to, to know- Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. And we've also so, you know, got... I don't think concerned about it was uh, to do this recipe with artichokes that I know, I think it's quite difficult for you to find them in your supermarket. And again, I don't know why, think when they are good for the liver, it's not easy to find them in UK. Which is strange because I think they could sell very well because it makes you yeah. feel less guilty if you have a glass of wine and then uh, you eat some artichokes. Artichokes. <laughs> We found them actually, we were just chatting actually um, earlier, and we can find them, there's quite a lot of small shops in Edinburgh, so small greengrocers, and normally it's easy to find um, artichokes there. So yeah, so tell me, Livia, we have got three recipes, not just one, but three recipes today. We started off the new year with a bang. <laughs> yes, this is uh, just to show you how not to waste anything out of an artichoke. Because as you can imagine, you know, as you remember, or maybe as you've seen before, when you use an artichoke, you have to peel quite a lot of the outer yeah. leaves uh, to get to the softer part, the more tender part, which is the heart of the artichoke, which is actually what is more delicate and uh, more tender to to eat it. So now I will show you how to clean some, but also my purpose is to show you that you don't waste anything, that you can uh -huh. use all the outer leaves and you can use also the bits that you would usually throw, you can use them to make it what we call decotto, which is like a tea, but it's not actually a tea, I will explain you the difference. And that would be really super good for your liver. So Brilliant. I love it, Livia. I always think you're really Italian. You're more Scottish, like using up everything, making sure you no waste. We love it. Although that's yeah. quite classic, though, isn't it, as well, from Italian cooking, isn't it? Like cucina povera. It's all about not 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 wasting anything at all. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's, um, you know, the only thing that makes you suffer when you cook an artichoke is the idea of having to throw away almost all of it. You know? But I will show you how you can save on it and uh, use it. So, this is, you know, these artichokes are giant, very big. There are different ah. varieties. 
so artichokes. Uh, the regions that produce it, the most famous one is Sicily. Then uh, is a variety that have uh, thorn uh, um, on it on the top, and that's uh, produced mainly in Sardinia. So Sardinia is very famous for artichokes, and then Puglia also produces a lot of artichokes. And I think Antonio will be very happy if I say yeah. that Puglia. <laughs> That's right. So anybody, yeah, anybody who doesn't know, Antonio is one of our other chefs, and he is based in Salento, down in Puglia, and I'm sure he's watching. So do say hello, Antonio. I'm sure he's watching, seeing what we're up to. I noticed he made a comment earlier, which is great. Yes, I hope that he's there. I think he's there. Come on, yeah. we're going to and, Especially when you know that you're going to use the outer leaves for other purposes, you don't worry to peel them uh, a lot. And then to be able to use just the art of it, that will make your artichokes more successful because they're more tender. Yeah. And um, just to let everybody know, we've got a link in the uh, we've got a link in the notes with all the recipes. So today we're going to be doing, as Livia said, this very healthy tea that's going to make your liver liver sparkle. And we're also going to do um, an artichoke pate as well. So something nice to maybe have on an oat cake or some nice sourdough toast maybe for lunch. And then we're going to uh, finish up with uh, is it stewed artichokes. Uh, Olivia, you've got finally the last one as a braised, the last recipe, braised artichokes. Braised. I them braised, but I think, uh, yes, yeah, stew is even better. So and let's see, actually, actually, yeah, Liz is just saying she's had them um, in the Jewish area in Rome. Yeah, that's right. They're really famous there. Uh, I know. Yeah, they are deep fried and they look like completely burned <laughs> and dark, but they are very crispy like if it was a chip. So yeah. that's another way, you know, to cook them, which is very typical. But I thought it was not that healthy that I... <laughs> no, exactly, Liz. No, no, that's it. That's Liz trying to lead us astray. <laughs> that's why I didn't suggest you. <laughs> that's the we'll, only do that. we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that in February or March. So all of these leaves, I will now show you how to use them. But I would like first to show you how to um, prepare one. Uh, so you will have to cut away about one third of it. So this is uh, the amount that is not, you can boil it to make the decotto like I'm going to show you now. There are thorns, okay. And then uh, with the, um, the stalk, that's very, very tasty. It's quite bitter. Uh, but it's really good to make the pate, and that's the way we're going to use it. So I'm going to cut it out like to up to this uh, amount, and we kind of open it a little bit, spread yeah. it out. And if the artichoke is fresh, there are no problems with the inside. So there are no, we call it la barba, I don't know how you call it. There will be like, uh, 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 la barba? Uh, like hair inside, which show that the artichokes actually is not really fresh. If it was fresh, it doesn't have anything inside. Okay, so I'm going to cut all of these the same way. Okay, and but somebody, yeah, one of somebody just commented and said they're not. They don't usually. They don't usually like um, um, artichokes, but we make, maybe we could convert them, Livia. So no pressure in your recipe. I think I, I love artichokes, and I can tell you that I all always always have a jar of artichokes. On my table and I usually eat it before um, together with meat. For example, these are my artichokes. Actually, vabbè, I buy them at Lidl, you know, I could be the <laughs> but these are very, very small artichokes and I always have them, even if they are uh, preserved in oil. I really yeah. like the flavor. So I think it's a flavor that if you get used to it, you will yeah. really like it. So it depends on your uh, your flavor, obviously, and what you like but you can like it a lot. So when the artichokes are fresh, they are also very easy um, to cut. You know, the leaves, and, and, you know, that's, I think you know it because you know a lot about vegetables and uh, botanical, uh, you know, herbs and things. So usually is the proof that is fresh is when they are easy to cut to the knife. Okay, we also clean out these bits. I posted a video, uh, I think you've seen it, Lorna. Yeah, uh, Instagram. Yeah. And shows how you can be very fast <laughs> to clean yeah. uh, the artichokes um, and uh, that's it. that's for another purpose the artichoke that you have seen uh, or that you will see on instagram yeah. is a different way to cook uh, uh, the artichoke is to use just what they call fondi so uh, they would use just um, this, the flat part, the base of the artichoke, really just this bit, this uh, 
uh, um, come, no, come si potrebbe dire, questo pe questa parte qui, which is called the fondi, like the bottom, I don't know, the base, yeah. the base of the artichoke, just the braised in water and garlic, and, mm, and that's very, very typical from Venice. Yeah. So, if anybody, yeah, so if anybody hasn't seen, Olivia posted up a really lovely um, video that she'd taken in Venice. It was just so nice. You just imagine being there at the at the market. Was it the Campo? Was it the, um, the Rialto market? Yes, the Rialto market, yes. Yeah, yes. beautiful, really lovely. And it was of a man just sitting, he's sitting, you can pop onto her Instagram and you can see it. And he's just sitting there and he's just literally with a knife. Um, I think it was Mark Norton was saying, gosh, you really need a sharp knife, but he literally, in like two seconds flat, just peeled it, trimmed it. It just was amazing. It was lovely. Definitely. Yes, so, Very talented. Uh, as you can see, for example, I got some of these artichokes that from the outside, they look, they were quite fresh, very fresh. The leaves were quite hard. Come si dice? Solide? I don't know in English how oh, you say it. I think, yeah, you probably say tough in English. Yeah, quite tough. But you see, instead uh, here, it doesn't look so fresh because it got some marks of darker sides. So um, it's still not too old. And, um, you know, you can see that it's not too old because it doesn't have any beer inside. But uh, sometimes they look very fresh. But unless you live in a place where they produce them, it's quite difficult uh, to find them very fresh because they are protein, you know, they have to yeah. travel to the place where you live. So usually you prepare them like this and you keep them in water with some um, lemon. Squeeze some lemon and cold water and that's a way for them to stop uh, being um, uh, getting darker. Discolored, yeah, discolored. Yeah, that's right. Great. Okay, so now so, uh, we'll put them on. I will uh, show you how to... That's great. Just while you're doing that, um, yeah, really lovely message from Caroline Topless. Yeah, we had a good festive period. Um, Caroline, thank you so much. Um, I hope you all had a good time at Christmas. Um, did anybody eat more than two boxes of celebrations? We had quite a few boxes of celebrations. Not much, not much else to do over the festive period, but to eat and drink. But that's that's that was okay. good fun, which is great. So olive oil in your pan. Since I'm going to give them quite a you know 20 minutes cooking, you can use stainless steel. In this case, I like to use my terracotta pot. Yeah, that's right. yeah. we've seen your terracotta pot before, Olivia. It's a classic. So there is uh, um, olive oil under. I will place them, uh, uh, come upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. With the head uh, down, okay, like this. Okay. And then I'm going to sprinkle them with some uh, garlic and parsley, which I've already prepared. Mm. Okay. okay. Right. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water. You can use the same water. Uh, the, where you have also some the juice of some lemon, okay? Without frying them, without uh, saute them, or you don't need to. They Eight. need to be quite covered, okay? Yeah. And I'm going to place them on the hob, uh, which um, I wonder why you cannot see it. But let me see. Yeah, and it looks lovely. Great colors as well. Really lovely. Oh, here we are. Olivia is about to arrive. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I think I was going to. No, sorry. I'm going to. You know what it is? <laughs> I will That's the thing about live. You can see it's all live and chaotic. I'm going to show you how they cook. Perfect. And what would you usually. So you're going to have artichokes and would you just eat them on their own, Livia? Or would you what, have some simple fish? Or what would you have with the artichokes? Well, usually artichokes uh, are a side dish, but if you are vegetarian, they can be a very healthy uh, main course. And uh, we actually we have a lot of different ways to do it. And one of it is um, uh, stuff them with breadcrumbs and parmigiano. But in this case, I didn't want to do it because I was no. trying to talk healthy. about you know the, the vegetable more yeah. than. Uh, many different ways to cook them because there are many unhealthy ways to cook them <laughs> and uh, they're special like for example you can deep fry them and make them a la judia like uh, uh, Liz was saying uh, and they are really good crunchy completely uh, burn I would say in that case to do them uh, you have to dip them into very hot oil okay yeah. and actually you dip them in three different temperatures oil so that are actually really complicated as well Olivia we like it simple 
and it becomes very, very, very dark, very crunchy and very nice. And that's a completely different artichoke, which is quite big, um, Carciofo Romano, uh, which uh, Rome area produced a lot of it. La Dispoli is a famous town where there yes, is a... Dispoli, Lazio. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now I will show you how to start preparing the uh, pate. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, parts of the artichoke which are really uh, full of um, good ingredients, let's say. Okay. So this part, as you can see, this uh, side here, okay, is really, it's quite thick, as you can see, it's quite fat, let's say, you know, it's full of uh, uh, flesh, let's say. So instead of wasting it, you use a knife to, or even, you can try also with a spoon, but a knife, a sharp knife works better. You scoop it out just like this, and this is the uh, la polpa. Come si dice la polpa, Lorna? The flesh. Um, yeah, the flesh. Yeah, the flesh. And that's the flesh that actually uh, you should use to make the pate together with the stork. I have the pate ready, so I can show you how it becomes after it cooks for about 20 minutes. But this is just to give you an idea of what you should do also with the stork. So, okay. Yeah. The, uh, if well, I didn't make a pate, I could have just uh, uh, cut the stalks like I'm doing now and adding them to the artichokes. And do you, do you, do you, do you sort of saute them there in the pan, Livia? The, the yes, we have some salt and uh, some uh, pepper, but that's I'm going to do it just when it starts uh, warming up. Because otherwise, when you add salt and pepper, when it's cold, when the temperature of the ingredients are, the, are in the pan is cold, it will not actually melt or, uh, you know, and it will stay just there and stick into the vegetables for too long. So I prefer to add salt and pepper when uh, the uh, vegetables are already warm. Yeah, so that's a good them. tip then. Yeah, good top tip. To season that season once they're once they're cooking, not beforehand. That's a good top tip from Olivia. Okay, so I'm going to, uh, as you can see, I'm taking the flesh out, and there is a lot of uh, nice uh, flesh here on this side, and I'm keeping these leaves on the side because that's we're going to use it for the third recipe. Aha! Uh -huh. so, okay. Great. Gosh, who knew you could do so much with an artichoke? And then we, you've chosen artichokes because obviously they are super healthy. They've got, they've got great vitamins, antioxidants. Yeah, they are very important. They have a lot of uh, uh, good uh, in, in elements, let's say. Yeah. So they have also vitamin C and vitamin B1, uh, as far as I just read. And then also the most important elements that they have is something which is called cinarina. that makes a liqueur. So in case uh -huh. you want to oh, no. there we are. healthy, healthy, what bit? <laughs> it makes a liqueur, which is very typical from Italy, and it's called the Cinar. How many of you have ever heard about Cinar? I think you, I think it's popular no. in UK. You, you never heard it. It's a no. liqueur based on artichokes. So cinarina is a um, uh, metabolita secondario, so it's uh, an element that comes out after... Um, you know, it's not it's, um, one that you have in the, in, the, in the vegetable as soon as it's born, let's say, I don't know, it comes out. Uh, and it's, that's the one which is really good for the liver. It makes uh, la bile works better. So I don't know uh, medical terms uh, in, in English, but I promise that <laughs> it's good for your liver. It makes it produce Great. something, la bile, to the yeah. liver, and uh, it, it, it makes it work better. Um, that's great. I was just um, I was just looking that Anton shared with us. He he's he's ordered three point five kilograms of celebrations. Oh my goodness, Anton! I hope he's still got some left. <laughs> it's hard though, isn't it, with celebrations? Once you open a box of celebrations, you just want to keep. Once you've had one, you just want to keep on having another. It's very difficult, I know, but <laughs> treats. Love it. Oh, okay, so uh, hello, Anton. Uh, it's a while I don't see you. I know I remember during our lessons, you always have uh, the back of uh, the screen uh, with something fake that uh, makes me think that it's uh, 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 somewhat exotic. Yeah, that's very right. tricks us. <laughs> okay, so now here, uh, there's the flesh, and then there are the stalks uh, cut into pieces after we peel them. And then I'm going to add some oil, then I'm going to add some garlic. Yep, always garlic, lots of garlic, that's a good ingredient. Garlic and, how do you, and, yeah. parsley, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and I'm going to put it on, and then I'm going to show you how it finished. And while, well, well, um, yeah, and what, how did you? What happened? Did you have a good festive season, Livia? Christmas and New Year? Were you just like the rest of us, eating and drinking and going for walks? <laughs> well, actually, we don't even go for many walks because uh, we cannot walk uh, very far from the house. So no. yeah. So, but uh, I go to the supermarket every day. <laughs> Yeah, I well, my mother um, is an, she's annoyed because she always say, "You're going to bring me the COVID oh, in right. the supermarket." I wish, I wish your mom anyway. She was brilliant when she was doing the pasta before yeah, Christmas. So she, she was great. She's still uh, very very well. Brilliant. <laughs> we argue more than ever, so I think yeah. we got to the point where. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> That's I know. That's, yeah, that's good. Uh, no. I got another uh, kind of um, artichoke, which is not a different variety. It's just uh, the little ones that grow around the plant. Oh, they look lovely. You know, an artichoke is a flower. It's not it, an inflorescence. It's not a veg. It's not. It's not a yeah a vegetable. But it's a flower actually. It's the flower of the plant. And they got these little ones. Okay which are more tender and they are perfect uh, to be used as a sauce for pasta, for example. And when you find them very fresh, and a way to discover that they are very fresh is to peel them even just a little and realize that the inside is um, a sodo. How do you sodo? Hard. Yeah, you just have a word. Oh. To it. Oh. Yeah, tough, or, but not tough in a negative way. Sodo, when something is compact and very, you know, you know, when you cut it, you realize that the artichoke is fresh. Okay, another way to use an artichoke when it's as fresh as this, okay, this small one and quite hard, is to make a salad, just a salad. Yeah. And that's obviously the best way to have an artichoke if you want to use uh, the right, uh, you know, have the right effect uh, in your liver. <laughs> yeah. Would you maybe have like the artichoke salad with, I don't know, some oranges or what else would you, if you just, just no, do Salad usually there is just uh, parmigiano, parmigiano, ah. oil, salt, and that's the yeah. okay. thing. Since I'm really sorry, but my camera uh, today is not working actually, yeah. my so I just have the computer here, so I will show you how things are going over there. So this, this is lovely. I'm going to add a little bit of water. I'm not going to use any wine in the pate because otherwise it makes it too acidic. So I add a little bit of water. Perfect. And I will show you in a few minutes. Okay. For the salad, which is very, very simple, we are going to use this fresh and tender small artichoke, yeah. which are actually my favorite one. They are the one that I can find, that they are produced also locally here. Yeah. And um, I like to use them for a pasta sauce, for example, or to make the risotto. I like to use the most, you know, the more tender one and the smaller. You would not use a big one to make a risotto because it would be a little bit like a waste. And also, you know, the, the, the small artichokes cook faster. And instead, the big one are more coriace, which means uh, uh, very hard uh, outside, so tough and they need a longer cooking. So you could not use them to obtain a sauce for a pasta or for a risotto. So these are the small one, which if I just uh, um, place some... Uh, you always get such lovely local Parmesan. Is that is that um, an 18 month Parmesan or 24 month Parmesan? How and, uh, this is a 14 months Parmesan, so it's quite young. For a salad, you could use even an older one, a more um, uh, uh, stronger flavor one. Uh, we got a lot of these for uh, Christmas for Christmas presents. So we have received, I have received a lot of Parmesan. So that's why I got a lot of blocks. Okay, so here it's um, uh, the, some shavings of Parmigiano. Then I'm going to add some oil and then just salt. It looks lovely, lovely. It looks really nice, really tasty. Okay, and I'm okay. just going to mix it. And this is a small, uh, you know, starter. This is a, a little starter that could be good if you want to eat artichokes and really taste the, their flavor. So when you eat them like this, just the art is not bitter. 
The stalk is quite bitter, that's why I need to cook for a long time, and the outer leaves are also bitter, so that's why they have to boil for a long time. Instead, the art is not bitter at all and it's very good. So the best way to have all the, right, the good effects of the artichokes is to have it raw, like this in the salad. Okay, so, and then uh, we... No, just, actually, actually, four dishes we've had to deliver, not even three. <laughs> yeah, we just have one missing that I will show you now with all of these bits of the leaves that we didn't use. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we've had the, we've had the um, salad, the patty, the tisane, and the braised artichokes. Yeah. So, allora, the, um, what we call decotto, okay, mm. uh, is not actually... Um, yeah, in English, yeah, in English you would call it a tisane, so it's like an infusion, basically. Yeah. So uh, a tea is obtained with a dry uh, vegetable or flour, or so is obtained with the element that has been dried out before, and um, you should make a tea uh, with boiling water. So the water has to be already boiling, and the vegetable or fruit or uh, flour that you're using have to be dry. Instead, to make a decotto in Italian, in Italy, or I don't know, in Italian, I think. To, which is a, um, is from um, herboristerie. Come si dice herboristerie in English? A herbalist? Yeah. Herbalist, yeah. Okay. And the, different, the main difference is that the vegetables or the ingredients that you are using are from raw, and they have to be placed in cold water and boiled for a long time until um, they, they become what we call the cotto. And uh, so the difference mainly is because to obtain doesn't is not ruined by the boiling time. So the good effect of the artichoke is not ruined by the fact that it, bo it boils for a long time. Okay. So, uh, so that's why the flavonoid or all of these uh, good products are not ruined. So it has to boil down. Okay. Yeah, so because very often, yeah, because very often when you're cooking vegetables, you you know you don't want to cook them for a long time because that's you lose the goodness of the vegetables. Yeah, some for sure. I think the vitamins, for example, that uh, an artichoke have is gone for sure. But these uh, metabolites secondary, so these elements that comes out after, are staying and they are in the more uh, coriacea and the tougher part. So they are inside the leaves. So. Right and they are releasing the water. So a decotto is called this way, actually, from the ancient Greek, because it means cooked 10 times, deca means 10, so yeah. yes, cooked and cooked over and over. So other ingredients that could be good with artichokes for this decotto preparation, which will be good for your liver, are melissa, which is similar yeah. to meat. Uh, you have found out what's the name yeah. of it, right? Yes, lemon balm. Okay, lemon balm. Okay. Yeah. And also wild fennel. Fennel also is good for the, the digestion usually. Yeah. So I put the wild fennel uh, plant outside that I got from Sicily. So I'm going to add some. Uh -huh. and some did, you see, um, did you see that um, uh, Carla was uh, posting up photographs on the Amici page that actually it's spring in Sicily just now. There was lovely pictures of cherry trees. And we were just saying this morning, it's like 15 degrees in Sicily. So we were, as we were freezing here in Edinburgh, it's, it's hard to imagine. Okay, so now I got here with a lot of water. Okay. Yeah. So this should be warm, um, sweet, right? To yeah. drink yeah. better. So if you like it sweet, you could add some uh, honey at the end, for example, yeah. or, uh, or even some sugar, for example, yeah. some sugar if you can. Boil it for a few hours. Many hours would obtain, uh, would make it better and more healthy. And then would you just and so if you if you boil it, but you wouldn't boil it, just like simmer it over a low heat for sort of yes. what two or three hours. It doesn't yes, it doesn't have to boil very hard. It just I, I left it low heat, let's say all afternoon long yesterday, and I have obtained this and I will show you, so it's very dark. One thing it's that yeah, one thing that artichokes uh, don't have good is that usually they make your hands uh, very dark because they release a lot of, uh, I don't know, dark uh, co uh, coloranti. So I'm going to show you here. I'm going to pour one. Oh, and God. You, I'm not going to die. I'm going to eat some. This is, uh, <laughs> I think I really need it after all of these holidays, I think, uh, the festive yeah. days with a lot of drinking. Yeah. <laughs> 
Aynı yere. <gülüyor> 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 You don't have to have it hot. No. Very cold. It? it is not really a tea. You know, the cocktail is something that boils for a long time from raw. Yeah. All the good things of the vegetables stays in the water. Actually, they are produced even after. And then you drink it in a hot. You can cover it. You should, they say you should drink uh, uh, at least half a glass a day. Right. Okay. I, I would keep well, to keep in the fridge. How, you know, with the ingredients that we've you've made just now, would that maybe make what enough for a week or a few days or yeah, you can make a bottle and have a glass each day, each right. morning, far away from uh, uh, lunches and dinner. Right, okay. So anybody watching, that's as Livia's given us a challenge to make our artichoke decocto <laughs> and drink half a glass a day. Come back next Monday and see how we are. Sparkling. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the pate. Okay. Yeah. Which is lovely. So for I the pate, to... I have it already done, so I just have to blend it. To yeah. make the pate more creamy, this is the result. After, um, let's say, just after an hour cooking, this, uh, uh, just to remind you, is uh, the uh, la polpa, the flesh, just the inside this part of the limb, just here, and the stalk. Yeah. Okay. Some garlic, some parsley. Okay, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'm going to blend it yeah. with uh, uh, either some uh, butter or if you have it, uh, it makes it more creamy for sure with some mascarpone, which is not very good for health, I think. <laughs> because, but it makes it very creamy usually. So, okay. and uh, this will be a pate that you can spread on top of uh, yeah. crunchy bread or also you could use it as a sauce for pasta for example ah lovely that would be really nice yeah we've been making lots of simple pasta sauces with sort of cream and pancetta yeah. and and peas actually it's always a really quick quick pasta sauce in our house actually when you, you're, you don't know what you're going to cook it's a great easy one as well okay are you, are you going to no, you're not making much noise yeah. Okay, sorry. Perfect. For the noise. Okay. So with Great. my finger as usual. Okay, you can blend it, you know, very evenly or better. You could, I could take a little bit longer to blend it better. And um, while you're doing that, Livia, can I show you what's what we got? I came in uh, to do the filming today and we had a tin in the kitchen. And somebody in our office has been baking. Look, we've got this cake. Oh, yeah. We're talking about Elle. It's lovely oh, cake. Yeah. Okay, Bella, I have to watch it. Can I watch it again? Have you, no, did you do something online where you were showing? No, this, no. no it's, it's, it's Julie's cake. It's actually a recipe from Mauro. It's, it's a torta caprese. It's a flourless chocolate cake. It's kind of healthy. But um, yeah, we came into the office this morning to come and do the filming because um, we, ha we have to be in the office because we're filming, not because we're just in case we should be at home but um but yeah there was a chocolate cake oh, okay. here so <gasps> disaster for good intentions for a monday but it's um it's a recipe that that mauro makes anyone who's been with mauro in tuscany you'll have um you'll have tasted okay. it very nice i didn't know that yeah good it's a chocolate cake with almonds right or something like yeah that. exactly that's right no flour yeah exactly. julie made it she's the guru on cakes <laughs> good. um and uh, i was wondering how is your uh uh your uh, dry january going my dry january oh not that well not yours but in general <laughs> that's I something think... i don't really try to do and i have to make an effort once to try i even looked you know i even looked at an application on the phone to try to drink less so i would like to download it yeah i think honestly livia i just think given what's going on at the moment we just have to be good and kind to ourselves and not try and do things you know not the moment not the moment for dry january i don't think but yeah but I, i've learned from you because i remember first time <laughs> I, January, it was you were telling me how you know it, i remember it was i was at your point. Point. <laughs> we always try we always try then, i'm not sure if anyone was watching us if they've managed to do dry january if you've got any tips or hints you know please pop it in the comments and share let us all know but yeah i think at the moment we're just getting through january keeping positive and keeping busy and cooking and eating a lot that's the best thing okay so now i'll show you um 
a braised a braised a cook for about uh, you know usually when you do um, the braised artichokes uh, you should cover them first for a little while and then you take the lid off to dry out all the water and the um, you know, this, uh, too, too much. Uh, so this is the end of the uh, pate. Sorry, I didn't show you. Yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous, Livia. It's lovely, really nice. You can also really use nice. it to decorate it, but I promise that it will not be much left out of an artichoke after you've prepared all of these recipes yeah, together. Brilliant. Okay, and I've done some artichokes before, uh, just about an hour ago. So I've cooked them for about uh, half an hour, 10 minutes covered, and then uh, I've opened them. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, so that the water would dry out. Okay, and these are ready. You see, they are tender, but they're not too tender. They, they, you, these uh, small ones are a little bit maybe more um, easy to overcook, let's say, because they are smaller. But as you can see, uh, these are nice as a side dish. They can be a main course on themselves. They are light, they're good for health. And also you can use them actually, cook them this way and then use them to add to pasta sauce, for example. You can yeah. do a, a pasta sauce with fish, for example, and you can cook them this way up to this stage when they're still a little bit hard inside, slice them and add them with, uh, you know, their flavor included already because there is garlic and parsley in the pasta sauce. So this mm. is the pasta. Gorgeous. Thank you, Livia. Thank you, Livia. This is uh, the decotto. <laughs> There's not much left. It's really nice. I thought it was bitter, but actually it's not bitter anymore. It's, it's yeah. uh, because boiling uh, the the bitterness is released. That's the salad. Then I'm going to add the salad. And I just want to show you the the situation up to now. Sorry again uh, for the camera. It's my fault. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. okay, that's great. And so you, the um, Jane was saying she thinks she's going to stick to peppermint tea. You've not convinced her with the um, with no, the, co the bottle. Jane, you should try because it's really good. So see, these are. The <laughs> oh sorry. wow. First, mm. and then they are uh, little by little they are uh, drying out uh, and getting soft. So they don't have to be overcooked. They don't have to be very, very, very soft. So they have to be cooked for about half an hour maximum, depending on the size of the artichoke, obviously, because when they are very big, it takes longer. Yeah, um, that's great. That's good. And if anyone's looking for the recipes, I'm um, Kieran's manning the Facebook page. So please um, just check on the comments, and he's popped a link to, link on. Um, to all of Olivia's recipes. We were very organised this week and we managed to get them up in advance on our Flavours blog. So you'll see them there, top of the blog, with all the recipes and pictures and things. So we were organised this week, Olivia. We did really well. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad we made it in time. That's what We did. Perfect. That's great. No, it was lovely. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody for joining in. It was lovely to catch up. Our, our first... Um, lunchtime live of the year and we're back again next Monday. Livia, what are we going to cook next Monday? Yeah, I was thinking that could be a good idea to do simple uh, recipes that uh, maybe are better to do the year on a live than on a private lesson, but mm -hmm. there's a lot of things to talk about too. For example, what about cooking uh, different sauces for spaghetti? Uh, nice. all spaghetti yeah. dry pasta is as good as the fresh one it's just different quality so and i think you should uh, learn how to make the right carbonara how to make the right uh, arrabbiata that usually with pain and with spaghetti but spaghetti aglio olio peperoncino and uh, carbonara are two kinds that we should do for, yeah Perfect. That sounds great. Good pasta. Um, perfect. Let's go for that next week. If anybody else has got any other ideas, pop in the comments or drop us a message because we're going to be here every Monday live forever, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, will fix my I will fix my camera. Sorry, I will fix my No, phone. no, that's perfect. It's lovely to see you. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, we'll see everybody next Monday. Um, have a good week. Happy cooking. If anybody makes the artichoke tea, please do post us some photographs. Um, we'll um, we'll um, we'll try it ourselves, <laughs> and yes, and we can send you the the, um, the recipe for the chocolate cake as well. We'll pop that through too as well. Good. Thank you so much. Lovely to see everybody. Take care. Have a good week. Bye bye now. Bye, Olivia. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.